Hey YouTube, Bird Billy here. Today I want to cover five things that it would have been better if I had never bought these. Um, <laughs> the first one is the grip and go. Now I was looking for a holder for my truck so when I was driving in I could see the phone if I was playing some music or uh, using the GPS. I had checked out a few different holders and this one caught my eye. The claim is that there's a bunch of little suction pads on this and your phone sticks to it and then won't come off. Well, it does work, especially at first. You'll, you'll do it and uh, it seems like it's holding, but as soon as you get a rainy day or if it's really cold out, any temperature swings, um, one of the things they tell you that this pad has to be kept clean. I did keep it clean and my iPhone was hooked up to it. I, I think there was some humidity going on that day. iPhone came loose, fell down, hit my uh, cup holder in the truck. It's down low and shattered up the screen. So this is to me not something that should be on the market for cell phones because if a little bit of movement on the road and some moisture can release it, then it's not something I would put an item that's worth five, six, seven hundred dollars or more on and trust uh, to hold it. So if they're still selling these grip and goes, uh, that's a no-go. The next thing which kind of surprised me is spec phone cases. Now I had got an iPhone 6 um, I'm sorry, I got an iPhone 7 Plus end of last year and when I got it I was going to get an OtterBox and the guy said no, 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 go with the uh, spec case, it's cheaper and a good case. Within a matter of weeks, I want to show you guys. So within a matter of Actually, I think it was a week or two, the whole, the flap that goes right here just fell off. Then I started getting these cracks that started, I think you can see them there. Let me see if it'll show. Yeah, you can, you can see them, I think. There's cracks that are just showing up all along the cover here. This is the part that snaps over the back base. It's like it was dry rotted. The inside of it is it, it looks like a tire that's been dry rotted out. It, it's, uh, I mean, just terrible. It, for an item that retails at $50, the top part right here is cracked out. You can see the crack there. Uh, I mean, there's probably 15, 20 easy, and the whole inside, like I said, looks like a dry rotted tire. Uh, so the, the back cover that stayed solid with this front cover is worthless and I mean it just started looking like crap too and I uh, was carrying this around in my pocket I, it, this wasn't put in a in a location where um, it was taking a lot of abuse so it was like in my coat pocket for most of the time so I, I, there's no excuse for this I was really irritated with it went back into the store and the guy said oh they have a lifetime warranty just do that they didn't even want to exchange it out of the store Another irritation. I get home, I said something to my wife about it, and she said my daughter was having the same problem with her spec case that they had bought at a cell phone store when we got her phone. They ran up to the Verizon store and spent like 40 some dollars on this case. Again, I'm coming close. And as you can see, the whole bottom flange here is cracked off and gone. And she takes really good care of her phone. I, 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 for a kid, she's doing a really good job. Um, She's, I don't see her tossing it around or anything like that. The, the abuse on this would be minimal. And the whole point behind these cases is they're supposed to take abuse, not just fall apart. I'm going to insert a clip here. I've got a guy that I ran into. I was telling him about the problems I have in my spec case. He pulled out a phone that he was carrying with a spec case on it. Same thing, cracked, and it looked like uh, some dry rot. So... I would say if you're in the market for a cell phone case, until they get this sorted out, I would steer clear of uh, spec cases. My opinion, you do what you want, but uh, I'm, I'm not happy with the product. 
this is a different style spec case and right here above the charging port is where this one cracked and it was warrantied out right there and then it was warrantied out so they clearly have a problem with their uh, materials they're putting on their cases they're saying this is mill spec but everything seems to be cracking and breaking the next thing that i want to cover is i saw this at a parts store i was trying to replace this holder and i grabbed this thing called the roadster and it's a rubberized holder that's supposed to stick to your dash tended to move around on mine and when you take a phone as big as the iphone 7 or an 8 a plus and you put it in there it, it's just too too much uh play i was afraid of this thing taking off it, it just it, i didn't even take a chance to let it let my phone go out the window i watched it rocking around up there on the dash first off it's kind of hard to even see what the phone is doing when it's doing that and it's like no i'm not letting a phone that costs this much money uh take a dive for me to test out a you know ten dollar product or whatever this was so um I, I don't recommend going this route. If you've got something that you just want to put your change in, this might work, but not, not for holding any of the, the newer sized phones that are out there now. The next thing is, um, if you go out, I got this at Rural King, but you see these at Tractor Supply, and they have them in the store sometimes. These are those defrosters that you plug into your cigarette lighter, and they have a fan, they advertise them as it'll cool you, and it'll heat your window up and help heat provide supplemental heat. Um, I picked this up at Rural King and, and tried it out in my truck and I should have just returned it. Um, the heat level was low. It, it does not really do anything additional. Um, it, it helps maybe a little bit on a small section of the windshield but it has to run so long to do that and then the, the cord gets super hot um, and the other thing with it was, I'm afraid that if you don't have a cigarette lighter that'll time out, this thing is just going to drain your battery down if you forget and leave it running. So, just even if you see one sell and they're $5 or $7, I think that's what I paid for this, walk away from it. These are not, you're wasting your money. It's, a, it's an impulse buy. Don't do it. All right, the last thing I want to cover here today is the electric blankets. So, when I was a kid, we had them. I used to run them there. They lasted years. Um, my wife loves, she's just got this thing. She loves being all warm. Um, when she's sleeping, she'll use a heating pad sometimes. She's got a, uh, her back hurts her a lot. And so, I got her blanket. Within a matter of about a month, wasn't working anymore. Now, she does kind of toss and turn and, and, and uh, pull the thing up around her sometimes, but I would think a blanket is designed to do that, not just have to lay perfectly flat. So, um, actually the first one I got her was this one. This is a Sunbeam that was at Walmart. And um, I think it was Walmart. One of them was Walmart, one of them was Amazon. The other one's a Bidford, B-I-D-D-E-F-O-R-D, -D -E Bidford. Um, both of them it was about a two month window maybe and neither one of them was working. So, and I just kind of feel like the quality out there is garbage. You can give them a shot, but these aren't cheap. Um, this one I want to say was around 70 and the other one was I think like 50 or 60. So I've got a hundred and some dollars here in electric blankets that didn't even give me four months of heating, which um, the one of them is going to go back on Amazon. I'd actually put a warranty on it, so I'm going to deal with that, but I would say just steer clear of uh, electric blankets. You know, it, it seems like something to help you if you heat, you know, trying to watch the heat in your house. Usually that's something you could do, put an electric blanket on the bed, and then they are supposed to use a minimal amount of electricity, but again, I just don't see the durability of it. If somebody out there has one that they've purchased within the last couple of years and it's holding up well, uh, please post a comment about it below. I, I'd love to know that brand because uh, I still like to get her one if, if there is a brand out there that's working good. But so far, the two I've tried, uh, no good. And that was the uh, Sunbeam and the Bidford.
Alright, well as always, I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you next video.